Hey, Viking fans, help me welcome Chuck Foreman, 44.com, as a partner to SkoWorld, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. That happens now. Gather around, Skull Brothers and Sisters. This is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, at Skull World. And I'm now proud to present Skull World and Minnesota Sports Talk are partnering with Chuck Foreman 44com You can also meet Chuck Foreman, the spin doctor, at Diggy's Barbecue Pit at 3090 Courthouse Lane, Egan, Minnesota, November 11th at 12 to 2 p.m., now let's talk about your Minnesota Vikings football team. All right, let's get let's give away some game balls. It's Monday, time to time to celebrate another victory Monday. I want to talk about game balls that should be given out or and have been given out by the coach, but hey, I'm giving them out today, so it's my turn. I want to give out a game ball to a guy that came in. In a moment's notice, was prepared and shined and showed out. And that, my friend, is a Caleb Evans. He came in, rookie of Caleb Evans, fourth round pick. The the uh, the pick that Quasi Adolfo Mensa said that is the guy he wanted. He went and got him, and he is starting over our second round Andrew Boo Jr. pick. He's 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 just got the confidence right now. The the team's got confidence in him, and he showed out. And actually, who knows? Maybe we have a cornerback controversy. But hey, a Caleb Evans is a nice problem to have as a backup at cornerback. We got depth for the first time in a long time at cornerback, and it's showing. Caleb making plays, especially in the run game. Good job, Caleb Evans. You helped us win yesterday. A guy that's, hey, everybody's saying, where is he? Where is he? What's going on? Why aren't they using him? Well, Ed Donatel put Daniil Hunter's hand on the ground, and we got two sacks accordingly. Thank you, Donatel, for taking my voicemails and listening to him. No, I'm kidding. I'm not calling Donatel. But, hey, I'm glad he is adapting and doing the right thing. Got Daniil Hunter's hand on the ground. Um, and even puts Darius Smith on the same side of the ball as him. He was even creative with it. And that's what Don, and Daniil Hunter was able to get sacks. He uses God-given athletic ability to get around that tackle. No problem. Get a couple of sacks. Game ball, Daniil Hunter. Now, a game ball, a newcomer. He's going to make a big difference on this team. TJ Hawkinson is everything in a bag of chips. He even looks like the logo. If you go see those uh, the memes out there, TJ Hawkinson is everything we needed as a big pass catcher, and he can block on top of it. He was open. Freaking Kirk Cousins has a big target now up the middle. This will loosen things up for us, man. He is going to be the biggest difference in this o- offense coming forward. They're going to have to game plan around TJ Hawkinson. This guy destined for the Pro Bowl this year. Um, I'm, I'm going to guarantee it. TJ Hawkinson, Pro Bowl by the end of the year. Good job, TJ Hawkinson. Here's a guy that just keeps on racking up the tackles, making big plays, even broke up a pass on Sunday. Jordan Hicks, man, he's on pace to be one of the biggest years of tackling we've had in decades. Jordan Hicks, man, reminded me of the great Scott Studwell mopping up running plays. Left and right. This guy's got it. Jordan Hicks, he's uh, beating father time, man. Wrong side of 30. Heck, that's not our problem. Jordan Hicks, man, he's mopping up everybody's missed tackles. He's he's the man. He's the man in the run game, and he's starting to show it in the pass game. Good job, Jordan Hicks. And he blitzed and knocked down a pass. Uh, he did all sorts of things. He's a He was a, he was a uh, Swiss Army knife out there. Good job, Jordan Hicks. You get a game ball. Even though KOC didn't give you one, I'm giving you one. Hey, this guy didn't get a game ball either, but he's getting one from me. He was just stuffed all, you know, first quarter, doing all right. Stuffed the rest of the game. Maybe we didn't even use him until the fourth quarter again where he was dominant late in the fourth quarter. That I'm going to give credit to KOC calling a second down um, 
de um, second down delay handoff, which was awesome. And he got nine yards off of it. It was it's awesome. D Delvin Cook reading his blocks at the end, fighting for yardage. He was eating out the clock, and then he sacrificed and did some kneel downs to hurt stats, but hey, he doesn't care. But the big play of the game was his one-handed touchdown catch to, to tie this game, and it was awesome. Dalvin Cook, you get a game ball. Oh, you know what? I think he did get – did he get a game ball from KOC? I don't know. If he didn't, he should have. Let's go. Uh, Harrison Smith, man, he got a game ball from KOC. He's getting one from me. He got that pick. And he got the yak yards on top of it. The all this guy does is intercept footballs, man. Going to the Pro Bowl again. Harrison Smith. All that in a bag of chips. Still at, at the wrong side of 30, man. Keep playing. Keep showing us. Be our, be our captain. Big C on your chest. Harrison Smith, man. Hey, I'm going to give one. I'm going to give one to Ed Donatel, man. Way to adapt, man. Way to improve this defense. Last three games. Each game better. You've been the reason we're winning. You have turned this around. You've erased everything I said about you from the earlier in the season. You've showed up. You've you've. Uh, there were several occasions where you you brought everybody to the line of scrimmage and bailed out. You disguised coverages. You're disguising blitz blitzes. You're not blitzing blitzing that much, but you're disguising them. And you're bringing heat with your with our front four. Even though we're three four, we're always got four guys with our hand in the ground. Great job at Donatel for turning this defense around. We are competitive, man. This is a defense we can go into the playoffs with now. Let's finish out this year. Let's beat some games. Let's start with Buffalo this week. And Kirktober wasn't the the greatest uh, month for Kirk Cousins, but he, with his fourth fourth quarter comeback victory, most in his Viking career. And it's only week nine. It was only week nine. It is now, I'm declaring it Kirk Vember. Let's go. Skull Vikings. Kirk, man, fourth quarter, you brought us back, man. You held tight. You you took that hit and delivered that ball to Justin Jefferson. You trusted Jeff Justin Jefferson all game long on those 50-50 balls, uh, the back shoulder throws. You could have maybe thrown that back shoulder a little bit better in the end zone, although every single damn time they were doing pass interference against Justin Jefferson. Hey, I can't blame you too much on any off throws. Couple of drops. Let's go. Kirk Vember. Let's turn it around, man. You got it. You're having a good year. Not great yet, but hey, it's you need you throw in a couple of blows here at the end of the season, man. You uh you you start stacking up touchdowns. Everybody's going to be talking about you for MVP, man. Throw on the chains. It's Kirk Vember this this November. Heck with November. We're changing it. Kirk Vember. We're going to go Kirk Sember. Kirkuary. Kirk, I don't know, February. Let's go. All the months are Kirk. Let's go. Let's finish this year. Let's get to the playoffs. Let's take Skull to the Bowl. Let's go. Skull Vikings. This is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. Make sure you go check out the description below for events that Chuck Foreman is going to be attending. And, hey, support his website at chuckforeman44.com. Let's go. Cue the music. Thank you, Viking fans, for listening. Make sure you catch my other episodes. Also, make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Skull Vikes.